Hello friends, this is Sakshi Gaidani. Welcome to the YouTube channel Botany Education with Sakshi. So friends, in the last video, I explained about the structure of pistils, megasporangium, which is the ovules and the types of ovules. So in this video, I will explain about the megasporogenesis. and formation of the female gametophyte which is the embryo sac so friends for this we will draw the structure of anadropous ovule So this is the stalk of funiculus and this is the body of ovules. So the body of ovule consists of mass of cells which is called as new cellus. So from this new cellus, from this mass of cells, the one cell is differentiated and act as megaspore mother cell. So friends, in the microsporogenesis also, we saw the microspore mother cells. So friends, don't be confused. This is the megaspore mother cells. So this megaspore mother cells. So this is the micropellar end and this is the chalachal end. So this megaspore mother cell undergo meiotic division. and resulting in the formation of the four megaspores which are haploid in nature so these four megaspores are arranged in the linear manner so friends in the microsporogenesis also we saw the cells are uh, the megaspores which are arranged in the different different types different manners they are arranged like the isobilateral type tetrahedral type but for in the megasporogenesis, the megaspores are arranged in a linear manner. So this is the haploid megaspore tetrad. So the process of formation of the megaspore tetrad from the megaspore mother cells is called as the megasporogenesis. So in this the three megaspores which are arranged at the chalachal end are degenerated which is called as degenerating megaspore and these megaspores which are there at the micropylar end this one act as the functional megaspore which is the functional megaspore so friends the megasporogenesis is completed now the formation of the female gametophyte So this functional megaspore will undergo the karyokinesis will be takes place. So the three in the karyokinesis the three nuclear divisions are takes place. So this functional megaspores undergo first mitotic division and the two nuclei are formed which is called as the second stage of second nuclei nuclei stage of embryo sac and this second nuclei stage of embryo sac undergoes second mitotic division 
and resulting in the formation of the four nuclei so this is called as the four nucleate stage of embryo sac so in this the four nucleate stage of embryo sac undergo the third mitotic division and resulting in the formation of the eight nucleate state of embryo sac so in this the eight nucleate stage of embryo sac so this so this three nuclei are arranged at the micropellar end and this three nuclei are arranged at the chalachal end so these are the micropellar end and these are the chalachal end because we are taking here the anatropous ovule so these three nuclei are arranged at the micropellar end and these three nuclei are arranged at the chalachal end so friends in this the distribution of the cells are occur and the remaining two nuclei which are act as the central cells so these are called as central cell so after this karyokinesis in this the cytokinesis will be occur when the cell wall formation will be occur so in this the cell walls are formed so these two cells are called as synergites and this is the egg cell the bigger cell is called as egg cell so this synergites consist of filif finger like projection at the micropellar end which is called as filiform apparatus the cells at the chalachal end which is called as the antipodal cells and the central cells are called as the polar nuclei and these synergites and the egg cells together are called as egg apparatus so these are the structure of the embryo sac so friends let us count the how many nucleate are present and the how many cells are present so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so eight nuclei are present and the cells let us count the cells 1 2 3 4 5 6 and this all small cells which are present in the one larger cells are the seven so the embryo sac is seven cell eight nucleate embryo sac and friends 
this whole embryo sac in which the seven cell are present and the eight nucleates are present these are formed from the single functional megaspore so this type of development is called as the monosporic type of development and the embryo is called as the monosporic embryo sac